Good morning. Today we are here at Meyer. We're going to go ahead and check out some of the sales prices for the week. We've been getting a lot of comments lately on some preparedness items, prepping items. We're going to check out some of those today. Uh, we're going to focus a little bit on some of the over the counter medicines, things that would be good to stock up on, have on hand in case something happens. These are crazy times. And we need to be prepared. Let's get to it. Okay, as soon as we come into Meyer here, I wanted to check out some of the vitamins. I got a couple emails uh, from our last video that one thing we should uh, take a look at and have a good little stockpile on are some vitamins. You know, if something ever happens, be good to have some B12. Always look for the ones that are on sale. It does look like Meyer has nature's bounty here. Buy one, get one of equal or lesser value for free. I know this is a popular one. Uh, somebody was talking about this. Uh, in an email, I uh, got a lot of emails last night, haven't been able to get through all of them. Somebody was asking about fish oil. This is included in this deal. That does include a lot of the sundown vitamins as well. Buy one, get one of equal or lesser value for free. You need to pay attention to these sales because uh, as we go along, prices just continue to keep going up. Like I, I don't see much coming down in the grocery stores lately. So, you know, if you need stuff like this, not too bad to have a couple extra on hand. Again, we will be paying attention to a lot of these prices. So some of the ones that uh, people have been talking about, vitamin C has been a big one. Uh, again, good to have. Good to have that, uh, you know, you can store back and have, you know, in case something ever happens, at least you have it. Something that I can't stress enough, and we always talk about over-the-counter medicines on the channel, but I wanted to have a point of emphasis on it today. Uh, one, it's very low here at Meyer, and we've been seeing over-the-counter medicines kind of low everywhere, except for Kroger. Kroger seems to have a ton. Uh, Walgreens has a ton, but it can get a little expensive. These are a couple other items. Um, never see too many sales on these kind of things, but it's always good to have a little extra. Uh, there are other places we will be checking out here in the future, like Costco and Sam's Club, where you can get massive bottles of acetaminophen and ibuprofen for a way better deal. Uh, I always feel like Advil's way overpriced. I'm noticing the one that they see most out of are Meyer brand products. So they do have some of the name brands here, but just glancing over, first glance here at the prices, they do seem a little expensive. Also, I know liquid gels work faster, but you're going to always pay more for liquid gels. You know, good to have if that's what you like, but I would also have, you know, if it was me, I'd also have some tablets because they're a lot cheaper. You know, you don't have to worry as much about, because with these, you do have to keep these stored in a really, you know, room, at least room temperature uh, space, because you don't want them to melt. Honestly, I don't know if they can melt, to be honest with you, but uh, I know all this stuff says store at room temperature. So we haven't had any comments on Band-Aids lately, but I feel it's important to talk a little bit about them. Um, Walmart, uh, the Equate brand, are really good Band-Aids. I've used them a lot. Uh, you can get a lot more for your dollar uh, and it's you know you can store these anywhere and it's always good to have you know if something ever happens it's always good to have extra band-aids I'm trying to find the Neosporin and I can't find any I don't know if they have it in a different aisle here usually oh here it is up here okay oh they're pretty low on it actually they got some of the Meyer brand here but like Neosporin let's see I think we can find this a little cheaper but this is something that's important because if something ever happens you know and, and you know this is good stuff to have because it's antibacterial you know so it's like if you get cut or something these things are good to have so that you know in case something ever happens one way to prevent infection again with all these things I point out I'm not trying to scare anybody into going to the store and buying a bunch of stuff I never encourage panic buying I never will however it's good to buy smart Okay, these are things we're going to start incorporating into the channel here. Like, for me, when I see a deal on contact solution, I usually get a few of them at a time because, and this really isn't that great of a deal because I can see right away, even for this, see this $15.79, the exact same thing that I get at Walmart, the Equate brand, which is made in Texas, um, is little less than seven dollars for the two of the same size two of this it's the same exact thing for seven dollars so i could literally get two of these for that price and this is not yeah see you gotta bring your calculator when you come to meyer so you buy one you get one thirty percent off that still makes it more than what i get at walmart 
I did notice we have a price increase on Sensodyne. This was $6.99 before, now it's $7.29. And this is kind of my point. All of this stuff keeps going up in price. But more things, pretty much all of this stuff that you use on an everyday basis, not a bad idea to have a few on the back burner in case of a CHTF crap hits the fan. <laughs> I know most people say the other word, but I don't like cuss words on this channel, so please keep them off. Uh, so, you know, it's not a bad idea. And again, we always try to find the best deals. Crest is a good toothpaste. Uh, and this is one of those 30% off equal or lesser value. Uh, let's see. Crest Fixident Oral-B Scope or Burt's Bees products excludes travel and trial size. So really got to read the fine print here at Meyer, but there are some deals to be had. Jess used to always ask me, uh, well, you know, pretty much after the events that happened a few years ago, we've been stocking up on a lot of different things. Like when I find things like dial soap, this was hard to come by a couple of years ago. Couldn't find the bar soap. This is antibacterial soap. And I know people will say that this isn't good to use all the time, but you know, in an event where, you know, things are cut off or not able to get things, antibacterial soap can be really good for you. Maybe not the best for your skin, but it'll be good for, you know, you get a lot of mosquito bites from being outside too much. And now we're gonna check on some of the produce sale items for the week, some things you can stock up on while there's a good deal. Got the personal watermelons and honeydew melons. Honeydew melons are $4.79, which is actually down 20 cents uh, from what they were a week ago. $3.99 now for the personal watermelons, but buy one, get one for a dollar of equal or lesser value. So you can get one of these, one for a dollar, you can get a honeydew melon. And another one for a dollar, mix and match between the two. It's a good deal. Well, it is about time. I did. I do not know what the crazy prices of grapes have been lately. I know there was a major shortage, but they do have green grapes on sale this week. Dollar twenty-nine a pound. It's the cheapest I've seen it anywhere. They have their strawberries back on sale. I gotta say, these do look pretty good. These are the Nature Ripe. Uh, farm fresh strawberries. These are always good. Never never had any problems with these. $2.99 on sale. Regular price, $5.99 now. Um, $2.99 for two pounds. That's $1.50 a pound. That's a great deal. They have the seven for seven deal back. Mix or match, $1 each when you buy seven or more. So you don't have to buy multiples of seven. You just have to get to seven items or more. And one of those is the broccoli crowns. I know we have a lot of people on the channel that love these. These are on sale, part of that seven for seven deal. Get to that seventh item, makes us a dollar. You might as well, because they're a dollar sixty-nine a piece without it. Looks like Myers finally starting to get in more and more organic options here. They're getting more of the Earthbound Farm spinach, different packages over there. They are a regular price at three forty-nine. Got some of their organic heads of lettuce back in. I know uh, one person on the channel that loves this. Uh, looks pretty good. I know we saw some Earthbound Farm ones uh, about a month ago. They didn't look so good, but $4.49. So it's a little more expensive. Got, uh, what is this? Two for seven. Drink and eat coconut organic. $4.99 regular price. $3.50 this week. Uh, and they have all their fresh produce up here. I gotta say, Meyer produce always looks pretty darn good. Got some beets here. Carrots. Good to go. Let's see. The, uh... The gold beets bunch is $3.49 each, which I don't see any of the gold ones. Uh, I don't see the price for the uh, red beets. They don't have a price up here. Okay, so I don't know. They don't have a price on the organic ones. I don't know what those were before. I haven't seen them in a while. But the conventional beets here are $2.69 for a wrapped bunch of them. Got some comments on beets, so I just wanted to point this out for you. Uh, these were $2.99. They came down to $2.69. We also got a comment if I had seen any radishes around. You know what? I haven't. I found some here at Meyer though. And they are $1.49 for a bunch of them. Like a group bunch. So the $1.87 uh, per pound of asparagus is over. They still have it on a little bit of a sale. $2.49 a pound. Regular price $3.29 a pound. So I guess it's still on a little bit of a deal. Glad I got some when it was $1.87 a pound, but $3.99 a pound for the cherries. Uh, and I've been seeing more and more cherries come in. We got some comments, uh, some people. It's been, a, it's been about a week since we got any comments on it, but we're finally starting to see a lot of different cherries come in. So $3.99 a pound this week at Meyer. 
one thing I always like to stock up on and just freeze them. I cut them up and freeze them when they're on sale. I have a fridge full of them right now, so I don't know if I can really fit anything else. Uh, that's kind of our issue. We don't have any more freezer space. Looking to maybe buy like a smaller deep freezer to help with more storage, but uh, these are on that seven for seven deal uh, mix or match, seven or more. Keep that in mind, it is seven or more. All the items that are on this sale will be a dollar, so dollar a pepper. It's a good deal they have these little mini cucumbers on sale on the seven or more deal for a dollar get them for a dollar uh it's pretty good these are a dollar right now if you get to that seven or more 279 now regular price that is insane so i had told everybody that onions were going to be going up in price guys this is stuff that we need to start growing on our own on our own onions and potatoes you can plant them in the ground and forget about it you know just make sure they're watered like everything else we've been getting a lot of rain here in cincinnati lately uh they have the vidalia onions five pound bag even on sale is pretty expensive 4.99 6.99 regular price now which is absolutely crazy they have a variety onion pack three pounds for 399 uh the spanish onions which i don't see any these are the vidalia onions here and if you're one of the ones that like vidalia onions like me i would buy up some because uh there was a major shortage of these like a month ago so hopefully they still keep coming in they are $1.49 a pound now though okay moving over to the meat section they do have their three pound tubes uh, flavor seal like they call it 81% lean 19% fat ground beef I do like it because you can look inside it's not covered like at Kroger $10.77 14.49 regular price we've been saying this is going to be going up in price it sure has uh, and it's gone up to 14.49 for the same exact thing at Kroger now personally I like Meyer meat better I would buy, I don't like buying meat in the tube at all to be honest with you but if I had to this is the one I would buy. I would buy Meyer. I'm not too big on Kroger meat. $10.77 this week, though. That's an okay price. I keep waiting for a better deal on hamburger, usually every now and then. Usually once a month, once every couple months, Meyer will have like a super sale on hamburger. So keep that in mind. Make sure you stay tuned. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss anything. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Really helps spread our videos out. We do appreciate it. Uh, their hamburger, uh, this is the certified Angus beef ground round which is normally $6.99 a pound now. That's up from $5.99 a pound, but they do have it on sale for $4.99 a pound. Still pretty expensive, but it's good quality. Not as good of a deal as we saw a couple weeks ago, but they do have the all-natural pork spare ribs, $2.49 a pound. That is down from $3.99 a pound. So a little bit of a deal, good quality meat. All of Meyer chicken and, and beef and steak is just really good. Um, let's see, what is this? Swift st louis style spare ribs uh this has got barbecue already on it 3.99 a pound 3.99 a pound so let's see normally 4.99 a pound so you're saving a dollar a pound i've never tried the one that already has barbecue but i have tried it without the barbecue and usually they're frozen i got thought of myself but it's really good so me and Jessica have made a little extra freezer space. We are trying to stock up on all sales that we see. And one of them, sure enough, are the Meyer chicken drumsticks. $4.28 for all of these drumsticks, guys. That is a great deal. We're gonna, so what we do is, you know, we'll make chicken one night and then we will just pack them away, fit them into to whatever kind of sealed bag. You know, you want it as airtight as possible. If you have a uh, vacuum sealer machine, that's the way to go. But still a great deal and it's a very cheap price and again the quality here at Meyer is our favorite one thing i like to stock up on when we have a sale that we can now squeeze in our freezer are mets uh different uh, italian sausages brats here there's a little bit of a sale we only get them when they're on sale they're just too expensive otherwise although regular price here at Meyer is cheaper than kroger uh two for eight dollars you do have to buy two with this deal but each one for four dollars for johnsonville that's not too bad oh my goodness guys look at this normally it's the ones that are a dollar nine the 12 ounces but they have the 16 ounce frozen vegetables here at meyer we like the frozen vegetables we don't care much for the canned goods for the canned vegetables but look at this it's on the dollar deal seven for seven or more that's a great deal 
great mixed vegetables. I've used these in a lot of vegetable soups over the years. And that makes it cheaper than Kroger. Uh, well, Kroger, 12 ounces, $1.25 a bag. So, yeah, that's great. Good deal. Wanted to make sure that Meyer is getting in water still. They've done really good over the last, like, four or five months of getting in a bunch of water. Uh, as we all remember who've been on the channel for a while, we know that Meyer has uh, struggled over the last year and a half. Well, well over a year, except for the last few months, with getting any kind of water in. Like, we would see these shelves completely empty here. They are still getting the distilled water in. Uh, they did raise their price a little bit. They are $1.25 now. It's been that for a little while. They got plenty of cases of Ice Mountain. Uh, $5.49. We usually find better deals on that. Um, they have their natural. Wow, they got their spring water back in. How much is that now? $3.99 still. So, a little, little cheaper than Ice Mountain. So I wanted to point out that the vitamin water and the bay drinks, I know a few viewers on the channel that like this one, and I know a couple of you out here that like this one. They are both, or wait, no, okay, so the vitamin water is on the seven for seven deal, so you can get them for a dollar a piece, but the bay drinks are two for three. I, I thought the, I, I thought it was a little funny when I saw these, I thought, well, no, there's no way they're a dollar, but they are a dollar fifty this week. You do have to buy two of them, but cheaper than two thirty-five. Also, all of the sparkling ice drinks here at Meyer are part of the 7 for 7 deal as well. I'm not going to go over all of these today. Um, and you may want to check online to see, you know, see if it's worth coming to the store. See if it's worth coming to Meyer uh, to get some of these deals. I'll point them out as we go along. But we have some other things we want to point out today. We're going to go over to the canned goods uh, and see if they have any deals on that. So I was walking by here, some of the canned goods wanted to point out that they do have their Campbell's Chunky Soups, $1.99 a can this week, no extra purchase required, $2, $2. These are $2.79 regular price at Kroger, $2.39 regular price here, so better on the regular price, but it does look like that includes pretty much all of them. No sale on Progresso, but I did want to say for a regular price, $2.35, these are $2.99 at Kroger, and I'll just pick one that I would... You know, I know as we're stocking up on things, you definitely want to pay attention to some of the dates. Uh, and I know some people say it can go way past the date. You know, if we're in a situation, uh, this will look pretty good. Let's see. 9th of May uh, 2025. So, yeah, a couple years on that one. So that's definitely got a good shelf life on it. Uh, and I don't believe these go much past that date. I know a lot of you out here that love the AB soups. Might be a good time to stock up on them because we never see sales on them anymore. Never. We'll see the frozen meals on sale every now and then, just a few cents. But 30 cents off a can basically on all Amy soups. Well, maybe not all of them. Uh, but some of them here, $3.49, 30 cents is 30 cents. If you like these, I would recommend stocking up on them when they're on sale. Usually when they have this sale, Usually you'll find like the 10.5 ounce cans of Campbell's soup on here for a dollar, but I didn't see any. So I don't know, maybe that's not included this time. I did want to point out though that Myers has the tuna creations. I know a lot of you on the channel that love these. Nice to pack away, easy to store in your pantry. Good thing to, good thing to prep on. Let's see, this is best if used by August 17th, 2024. So, you know, not the longest expiration date, but um they're a dollar a piece this week and i know a lot of people out there like them so and dollar 45 regular price dollar 69 a piece at kroger so good deal one good thing to have in your pantry is some shelf stable milk i'm just going to pick which one i think is probably the most popular here december 10th 2023 so that is a terrible that's chocolate i don't know let me know down in the comments like what is usually the expiration date for some of this stuff because if you're stocking up on it and putting your pantry and hoping to keep it there for a while I don't know so here's okay January 6 2024 that's not much further past that so I don't know maybe that's the norm uh, not really too sure planet oat here best if used by March 8th 2024 so that's a little longer on the date but I don't know it's looking like these are more like a year or less so keep that in mind when you're buying these things uh, and just throwing them, throwing them in your pantry or in your cabinet or wherever you can find space. Looks like SpaghettiOs are part of the 7 for 7 deal. I feel like I'm checking out. You know, guys, I know this is funny, and I'm trying to do more things on the channel here uh, that people want me to do. I don't usually check expiration dates all, all the time on camera just because it would take me all day. 
uh, May 23rd, 2024. I did try the Frank's Red Hot. I kind of hit or miss with it. Like, I don't waste food. Like, I ate it all, but I probably won't buy it again. I would almost rather just get regular and add, like, some drops of Frank's Red Hot sauce in it. Okay, so Meyer's starting to do things like some other stores here. They don't have any sales on their sliced cheese, but they do have their shredded cheese, $1.88 a bag. But yeah, none on the sliced cheese here. They do have Sargento still on sale, two for six. So keep that in mind, that is on their sliced cheese. Most of you guys on the channel know that I like to stock up on lots of canned goods. I've been stocking up on canned goods uh, for a long time. Now I will say we can find cheaper prices than this. Um, usually Kroger's has Hunt's uh, tomatoes four for five dollars, but they may have gone up uh, I think theirs is around $1.34 regular price, but it's been on sale for a while there. Uh, and some of the Meyer, eh, you know, we're going to be looking at some different options, uh, maybe at Aldi and Walmart to hopefully find some cheaper prices where we can stockpile some. Because 89 cents a can, I feel like that's just way too much, especially for Meyer brand. One thing that's always good to stock up on, and guys, you can make, I'm gonna do like maybe some videos here in the future where I take like a pack of ramen noodles and cook it with some other items to show you that you can make good cheap meals with ramen noodles. I used to do this in my younger years, um, but I noticed they just went up in price again. These were $1.99 last week, $2.19 now. I believe they're still $2 at Kroger, still $3.69 for the 12 pack, which we have plenty of ramen noodles stocked up, but you know, and I, I know this has an expiration date on it, but I know that I personally, and, and again, I don't recommend uh, doing this or anything like this, but, you know, I've had ramen noodles way past the date and they've been just fine. Uh, but don't take my word on that. I've done it. That doesn't mean I say it's okay to do. Um, but yeah, they do have some different brands here, but yeah, 2 19 now. We can find them cheaper. Over the last couple of years, you know, we've had a couple comments, you know, in the past. I know people... Uh, who watched our channel, you know, they always ask us, why do we stock up on these things? Well, it's the exact reason why we we prep these items, you know, we buy up a bunch of these so that we have them in the future in the case of a case of an event, you never know, it could be could be anything. These are crazy times, but it's good to have some of these things on the back burner. Something happens to you or your family, it's always good to have extra food. Do have to kind of watch some of the dates on rice a though. though. So this expires uh, eight, March 18th, 2024. Okay, and I have gone a couple weeks past the expiration date on rice aroni, and sometimes it does lose some flavor or just, you know, kind of sticks together more. It doesn't seem to be as good, but um, I, I don't know. I would still eat it. I would eat it if I'm hungry, no doubt. So we did stock up. We have a pretty good stockpile of Bush's baked beans. Ever since Van Camp started kind of going downhill, I don't even see them. They don't even have them here. I don't know, but uh, Van Camps has just been tasting horrible lately. Been stocking up on some of the Bush's beans. When we saw them for $2 a can, we bought up a few just to have, you know. Um, they did have these at Kroger on a digital coupon for 99 cents. Uh, I believe that sale will be going on until tonight. You guys will see this on Tuesday, January or, uh, June 20th. So they may still have that sale going on. Oh, look at this. Here we go. See, this is a Bush's beans. You know, I like bushes, especially when I can get them for a dollar. This is on the 7 for 7 deal. We're stocked up on some of these, uh, but it never hurts to have a few extra. Let's see. Let's just grab one that we use all the time. Kidney beans. Um, we do like Kroger kidney beans, too. And this is good until April 2025 and probably way past that. But again, good, good to get a, an idea of how long these last. That way, if you do have a pretty big pantry, you know, you definitely want to rotate your items as you go along. I was hoping that they had the Del Monte canned vegetables on sale for a dollar part of that 7 for 7 deal. They do not. Uh, a lot of the things they usually have aren't on that deal this time around, which is kind of disappointing, but uh, we usually get our Del Monte canned green beans, peas, and uh, corn at Sam's Club or Costco because you can still get them for right around a dollar a piece. These are things that we will splurge a little bit on just because... It's our favorite. They, they taste fresh, fresh right out of the can. Meyer tomato sauce, uh, different marinara and pasta sauces are on the seven for seven deal. Regular price, always $1.49. It's been that for a long time. It's good sauce. I like this chunky garden combination pasta sauce. The only 
bad thing is Jessica doesn't. So if we make something together, uh, and she will, she'll take like the big chunks of tomato out of it. But this is our favorite right here. Works great. So one thing that we always stock up on, which most of you know, uh, we find sales on coffee. I'm a little more particular on coffee sometimes if it's a little more, again, I buy it at, uh, I almost said Starbucks. I, I buy it at Sam's Club or Costco, whichever one has the best sales going on. They do have Dunkin' here, Colombians included. That's usually not included. $7.99 down from $8.59, $5.79 for the eight o'clock coffee. I did miss this last week and somebody had commented on how the Frederick's coffee is. Uh, the only one I really care for is the Michigan Cherry. Make sure you don't accidentally buy the decaffeinated one. I had this in my cart one time, almost bought it till I realized it's this one right here. And it's not heavy cherry, it's like a hint of cherry, really good. Notice the price went up again. They were $7.49. So a little over a month ago, they were $8.49. We saw the price drop to $7.49 and we were like, okay, well at least it dropped a dollar. Now it's back up to $8.49. I would not pay that. I only get this one that's on sale. I'm not kidding, guys. There are not many sales. Some of the true goodness organic coffee up here on sale, but there is not many at all. None on Pete's, none on, uh, I don't know, this toasted marshmallow, I guess, is on sale, but that just doesn't sound good. Doesn't look like the Starbucks ground is on sale, but they do have the Starbucks pots been seeing this more and more where you know usually it used to be where both of them would be on sale at the same time uh the pods and the ground but it seems like it's getting uh where they just don't do this a lot so if you only drink ground no sales but pods are on sale for a little bit this week 7.99 so no sales on the pete's pods either the green mountain coffees no sales at all guys it's crazy uh duncan uh they have had a lot of good sales lately but not this week Dunkin' Pods are not on sale, but the ground is. Ground coffee's on sale. Um, Eight o'clock coffee ground is on sale, but not the pods. So, I don't know. I don't like this. I like when they used to have them both on sale at the same time. No sales on the Meyer Coffee, Folgers, or Maxwell's. This might be the first time ever. I'm trying to think of a time that I came to Meyer where one of these wasn't on sale for a week, and I, I can't remember. Um, they do have the Duncan on sale, the ground here, the 30 ounces, $17.99 down from $19.99. But yeah, this is the worst sales of coffee I've probably ever seen at Meyer. So it does seem like we are starting to get in more and more salt. It's been a hot topic on the channel lately. A lot of different towns out of salt. Seems like, uh, if I, seems like down more south, they seem to have more than up north here, but it's good to see it coming back in couple weeks ago everywhere we were going they were completely wiped out so we bought up a few you know i mean salt lasts forever i think <laughs> uh let's see jessica always checks expiration dates on everything uh yeah that can't be right i don't even know if there is an expiration date yeah it's good we're good another item of interest has been cooking oil it does look like Meyer has gotten theirs back in this was a little crazy last week they were completely sold sold out or something happened I don't really know but they are 389 which they did come down in price canola oil 399 both of these were 429 a little over a month ago so good to see uh, them come down in price no longer sale on Crisco hopefully people bought it up when it was on sale for five dollars 629 for the vegetable $6.99 for canola, way too much for the shrink-flated 40-ounce Crisco, but I know a lot of people on the channel swear by this. A good shelf storage item is Crisco. Uh, it's good to have, good to have. Um, last forever and $9.99, yeah, I know it keeps going up. Someone, a uh, long-time viewer on the channel said they saw it at Walmart for $8.99, so good price there. Uh, $10.49, I believe, still at Kroger. Uh, but who knows, that might have gone up since while we're talking here. I don't know. Everything seems to go up every day here in the grocery stores. Does look like we got plenty of flour. Some people, uh, somebody left me an email of different ways you can store flour. And I think that's smart. If you're going to buy up a bunch of flour, you definitely want to kind of seal it off. Because you don't want like any kind of bugs or anything like that getting in there. Uh, you definitely want to find a way. I know some people were saying Mylar bags and different sealed containers and stuff like that. Not really too sure. Uh, we do keep ours in sealed storage containers, uh, but we always keep a close eye on it. Uh, $3.99 for the King Arthur uh, this week. That's a pretty good deal, down from $5.99. And the one thing I definitely wanted to check on was sugar. 
Okay, whew, still 299. We saw this go up every week here for a month. It was 219, went to 249, 279, and now 299. It followed the exact pattern as Kroger. So, I don't know. Sugar's getting expensive again. Uh, let's see, I think, yeah. Okay, so Domino did finally go up here. It's 469 now, 479 at Kroger for the four pound bag. Don't waste your money on the 599, three and a half ounce now, shrink flated three and a half ounces of sugar. You're basically paying for the container here. Well, that was our trip to Meyer today. Good trip to Meyer. Not many great sales. This is seven for seven deal. I did notice there were some yogurts on that deal. Check online with a Meyer close to you. There may be some different items, maybe depending on what location you're at. Um, not very great. Uh, some of the things we stocked up on a few things. Uh, SpaghettiOs. SpaghettiOs good to have on hand. Long expiration dates, you know, and it it looks pretty good if uh, the crap hits the fan, as I like to say. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I see a lot of people using the other word, and we just try to try to keep the curse words off the channel here. Um, but yeah, you know, a lot of the over-the-counter medicines, stuff like that, Neosporin, Dial Soap, any kind of antibacterial things I feel are good to have. Um, and some people may disagree. Uh, feel free to add into the comments anything that you think is good to stock up on as far as over-the-counter medicines vitamins uh, these are all good things to have just in case anything ever happens guys thank you so much for watching today with all that being said i am out and always remember the adventure is out there